Ahoy, Krusty Crew! Data here with episode 3 of my guide through Spongebob Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. Your guide to 100% completion in this game as you journey along with me. In the first time that I've played through it in years as I'm trying to get 100% as well. And if you do what I'm doing to get 100% then you should end up just right. In this episode we're kicking off part number 1 of Downtown Bikini Bottom. We did Jellyfish Fields in the last one and now we will continue the initial initial playthrough of each location before we have all our skills, all our characters, and we'll be able to come back and clean up any socks and spatulas that we missed in our uh, later Downtown playthrough. Bikini Bottom. Once a bustling metropolis, now a debris-covered crater. Tough. Also, subtitles now turned on for... SpongeBob, the robots are destroying Downtown Bikini Bottom. We have to evacuate! To accommodate this comment right here, thank you, Michael Bruno Sully. All right, but it's gonna take a while to get all this dust. Not vacuum, evacuate. Come on, Sponge. We have to get everyone to safety. Can we just load them up in the boats? That won't hmm. do any good. Why no. not? A good because question. Because the robots have taken no. all the steering wheels. They're smart, Couldn't these guys. We just drive in a straight line. Oh, good one. No, there are too many turns. Ah. Those fiends! They thought of everything. Really Never did. fear, Mrs. Puff. I'll get those steering wheels back. SpongeBob, if you're involved, I always fear. <laughs> but I tell you what, if you can pull this off, I'll give you a golden spatula. Nice, I'm a good How about noodle. a driver's license instead. <laughs> nice <Got 'em>. try. <laughs> Alright, let's get these steering wheels. So this is an easy one right there. That's one out of eleven. Alright, so let's start. That's the first one right there. There's a second one right here. What happens if I press this button? Uh, do I turn into a ball? Up for a game of oh, ball. I almost made it through. So I guess I turn into a ball if I if I touch that. But before I do that, I just want to go through, get all these shiny bits. Someone realized in my first episode that I said I'm going to get all the shiny bits, and then as I said that, I missed the shiny bit, so sorry for any deception. I'm always trying to get every shiny bit available. Ma, why are you tormenting these poor people? Come over here. Get out. My goodness. Alright, so I could turn it into a ball over there. Nice statue, who's that? This is a giant cannon. I feel like a new sponge! Thank you very much. Make this guy explode, then run away. Okay, collect all those. What's going on up here? Fresh like a spring breeze. How am I supposed to get up here? That's something that's to figure out later. For right now, let's go turn into a ball again. Yeah, what did this I should have read the sign here. You'll change into a sponge ball. You can roll quickly a sponge ball, but you cannot do anything else. Being hurt or pressing any button will change you back into your normal self. Okay. So open it up, turn into a ball, zoop! Right through. Perfect. Zoop. What's going on over here? Ay yeah, yeah, these guys. Classic. What are these guys? We gotta stomp on these guys. This poor nematode. No. Oof, got him! Hey, pull the Louie. Okay, I gotta go help this guy out. Gary! Classic move. Okay, first things first, I gotta help this guy out. Somehow this I don't think guy. he needs a hand. Bang, get out of here. Okay, what does this sign say? Uh, this robot is called G-Love. I already killed him. The best way to deal with him is to double, to bubble bounce from above. Already taken care of, Chief. Alright, let's see what is up going on in this area. Zoop. Make that guy explode. Whoop. Zoop, zoop, zoop. I made it through. Nice. But I didn't finish exploring here just yet. Oh, here's a steering wheel. That's steering wheel number two, right over here. After you, bam, stomp that guy into oblivion. Pick up uh, any underwear if you need. Now here's a little bouncy guy, you want to definitely go on him, and zoop, follow the path of, uh, you might miss it, don't explode these guys, you need them to walk, so you might miss it the first few times, you gotta look for the shadow underneath, look for the shadow, it might not always be there depending on the position of the sun here, a lot of physics that are different in Bikini Bottom than planet Earth, but some things still reign true, so I just go all the way, perfect. That's got a nice little blue piece there. So once you have that guy, you can destroy them. But if I can go on this guy, jump on this guy, I don't think I'm able to make it up, eh? I don't have enough, uh... Oh, I'm stuck. Come on. Do I have enough juice in the tank to get up on top? 
I don't think so, eh? No. Alright, so no juice, so boop, stomp all of you, mega combo, destroy you, mega combo. There's a blue guy over there, I want him. That's all done, so now I can destroy these guys, now that I've explored what I had to do with them. Alright, and off to the next little section, here we go. This place is a big mess, though. I don't know who runs this town. Denny Kader would never let it get this bad, but I don't know what is going on. Checkpoint, let's pull back in. Here's the bank. Put it in the bag! Oh, sir, you're facing the wrong way. Classic SpongeBob. Uh, this brings us back over here, so now we can have another access point. Will that be Bring from your checking account? Town. Bring it a- oh wow, that came out of nowhere. That was disrespectful. Bring it around I feel like a new sponge. Let's uh, explode this guy. Explode this guy. Here's a sponge Bring ball. Around town. Explode that. If I stomp on this, that'll open, what, make a bridge or something? Oh, yeah. Okay, so you gotta jump. You gotta roll and jump. Bring it up around town. You gotta roll, bam, roll, bing, roll bop. The there you go. Easy work. Checkpoint. Uh, down there, there are some shiny bits. Uh, let's go grab them fast, fast. I can always... This is quick for you, long for me. Let's do it again. Boop, parkour, there we go. So a lot of things to explore over here. Explode these guys, make sure you get all your shiny bits. Don't leave a stone unturned. When you're dealing with Mr. Krabs and his greed, it's gonna come back to really help out later. Instead of grinding, uh, killing robots for like 40 minutes in Mr. Krabs' dream or something, which I've heard people do a lot, you can just get all that you need now and not have to worry about being short on shiny things, shiny objects later in the game when it's gonna cost a lot to buy golden spatulas. This we'll door see. is locked from the inside. Who would do such a thing? I don't know. Locked from the inside? I'll figure that out after, I guess. Let's bounce up here. Up here. Oh, there's a Boy, sock. Perfect. Will be glad to have this back. Good old Pat. He needs his socks. Am I able to get... Uh... You? No, I'm not even close. So I'm not quite sure what those things are for. Unless I would use it to bounce... No, not even. That's a mystery for now. Spongeball. Well, actually, before I go through that circle, I want to do all this first. <laughs> 2100, what do you want from me? To rebuild the bridge? Uh, am I a city worker? I have to pay $2100 out of my own pocket to rebuild the bridge. There's a golden uh, steering wheel up there. Who are you? Out. How do I get up there? Alright, let's pay the cash here. What do you want to rebuild this bridge? Where does that bring me? Some secret location to the to the sea needle? Do I want to go to the sea needle? Hey, what's up? Oh, there. That's oh, the literal sea needle. What's up here though? Oh, it's this fan. Do I want to go to the Sea Needle? Not yet. I'll come back here in a sec. I gotta finish off my uh, my task. Fix up downtown to help Mrs. Puff. Povrella. Let's go through here. Beep. Hi, Bang. Gary. Gary. Meow. Yes, thanks for noticing. I have been working out. I mean, we Meow. all have been. Not done. <laughs> Doesn't that mean? Meow. No. Okay. Oh, Thank that's you. the entrance to the rooftops, which leads to the lighthouse? Aha! Uh -huh. There's another golden spatula. I could really use that. Meow. What do you mean, get Sandy to help me? I can get through this. Sandy. Meow. Here we go. Oh, that gap looks big. Hmm. Okay. This is where the I'm rooftops come definitely not into making that jump. How is yeah, anyone going to get across there? Uh-oh. More robots. Holy Dutchman's ghost! That Oof, gap looks impossible! That's impossible! Okay, okay, I'll go get Sandy to help me out. Yeah, I sure hope so. She flies like a deity. There's a box. Let me just finish up this area here before I go up to the top and get Sandy to help me out. Alright, bus stop. Let's switch into Sandy for the first time. Perfect, let's do it. So, what do you gotta tell me here? Jump to the top of these steps. Sandy can glide across the gap to the next rooftop by double jumping and holding X. Yeah, that'll keep the lasso. Doesn't really got, uh, hold to physics, but you know what we say about physics in Bikini Bottom, right? Alright, got that steering wheel. That's how you get that one. For any of you who are curious, now we can jump across this gap, lasso across. Perfect. So there's a lot of things that you can do. You can go down here, get Someone these shiny make bits. Good use of all these. Oh, I will. Don't worry. So you definitely want to always do your due diligence and study everywhere, because you never know where something might be hiding. Lasso across. Oh, 
And there we are, checkpoint. What's up here? Sandy can do a chop attack by pressing square. If you chop while in the air, you will perform a karate kick. So I can go like this, or like that. Karate! What if I go like that? That would be a big one. Or I could lasso, couldn't I? Yeah. Pretty sure I can- you can just fly forever. Yeah, look, I can- if you press jump after you lasso, you can just fly forever. So keep that in mind if you ever gotta fly somewhere. Hiya! Karate! Sandy can lasso the object by pressing- oh yeah, we just figured that out. No problemo. Then what's up over here? These uh, Texas bits here. So uh, swing hook by pressing O. So if I jump there, press O. Oh, I had to hold O. So a little Indiana Jones action. Let's try that again. Hold on to it, and then zoop zoop. There you go. What do they want from me? Sandy can lasso a robot by pressing O. Even better, long distance. Oof! Just string them up like Genghis Khan's warriors. Anything else around here? Doesn't look like it. And he's back! What do you? What, what else do you want from me? You didn't see what happened just to your friend two seconds ago. Not like he got tied up by a horse. Hold on. You gotta get the, who's uh, who's sending in robots. Where's the machine here? Here he is. Karate gone. Now here's where it could get complicated. You gotta zoop, swing just right through each one, and there you go. Then you got the box opened up. And there is our golden spatula, right there. Number 10. And that spatula seeker, bronze trophy, one step closer to the platinum. Oh, I do see a sock over there, so before you go in here, you'll want to lasso yourself over to this area, destroy that cannon, and go ahead and grab the next steering wheel from Mrs. Puff, that's number 4. I see a sock over here as well. So I think what you, have to, you would have to do there is get up on one of those Texas things, and then swing over there, so let's go try that out. Hop in this box, brings me up here. Let me get back on one of those Texas guys, it's over there, right? So, swings me over here, and then I hold on to my lasso, and there we go. There's a lot of things that you can just do. Ooh. Do I really have to carry Patrick's socks? <laughs> That's number nine. I like that it's not like, there's not a lot of invisible walls or anything, you can just do things. If it looks like you can jump on it, you can probably jump on it. Behind the bank, here we go, another well, sock. I suppose it'll make Patrick happy. Whatever makes Patrick happy, that's number ten. There we go. Now with the lasso, we can come get Sandy, we can lasso those guys. That'll make them all explode, then we can st step on a button, perfect. So let's lasso all these guys first. Perfect, so if Sandy can't step on those buttons though, so what you gotta do is go back to the bus stop and switch Ew. back into Spongebob. Can't believe I'm wearing Spongebob's underwear! <laughs> Here you go. Zoom, zoom the 470 straight to rock bottom. Now we'll go back over to that area where we just got all those tiki's Bring exploded. Around town. And we can smack all these buttons. There's one, two, three. Sometimes pushing a simple button is the most satisfying. Quite satisfying. Push. And four. Bang! Anvil just drops in that cannon. Must be rough. And a golden spatula on top of that statue, so I'm going to become Sandy once again, get over to that building, and then lasso my way there. So here we are on top of this building now. Just soar in like a helicopter to come get this. Make sure you drop down just in the right spot, and there you go. Golden spatula number 11. So we're still missing uh, seven more steering wheels, but I think that's the end of the line for stuff that we can do right, right now. I'm going to go ahead and hit the exit. Uh, not the exit, but the uh, the next part of this downtown level. Ah, actually, I get this one right here. What am I saying? Climb up on this boat, and then just swing my way over. Perfect. That is number 5 of 11, so now I'm just missing 6 more. Alright, so let's hit it. Travel to the rooftops. So, we can go to the rooftops right now. Don't forget that we also unlocked the place to go to the, the Sea Needle. So we want to come back and touch that later as well. So like I said, it's always like a pick your path book. Go down run one road, which also leads to different permutations. But don't hey, forget Larry, to come back and check it out. Larry! Sandy! Larry. Boy, oh am I glad to see you. I need your help. My TV reception has been terrible lately. Mm -hmm. I need to have someone replace my old antenna with this shiny new one. Okay. Yes, sir. That bear antenna is shinier than a $3 bill. Hmm. Well, why don't you replace it yourself? I'm not Fair really question. much of a jumper. Hmm. So, what's jumping got to do with it? Because much box the old antenna the is up there. Uh, 
That's far. At least there's Woo! a spatch. That's taller than a glass of Texas iced tea. The robots have blocked off that building, and I can't do all those fancy moves you and SpongeBob do to get across these gaps. All I can do is flex. <laughs> Wanna see? Yes, please. Yeah, great. Uh, so what are you gonna do with the old antenna? Oh, that? It's yours if you replace it with a new one. Well, I have been getting yeah, bad TV reception cool in the tree dome. Or... Okay, Larry, you got a deal. Mental. All right, so we'll do this antenna for Larry, and then we'll call it a day for part one of Downtown Bikini Bottom. Let's figure out what we got to do and what it will require of us. Okay, so Sandy may cross large gaps, of course, we know that. So don't be afraid to go for it. Come on, Bella, what do you want? Ay, yeah, yeah. Where's the National Guard? The robots are taking over everything. You know the episode where Squidward thinks that robots take over the world? He calls the Navy. Not Squidward! They're taking over the Navy! Not the Navy! Well, where is the Navy? Have they actually been taken over by robots? What's going on? You, you, you think you're funny the way you torment people? Uh, swing from hooks? Yeah. Look at this. Oh, you think you're funny? Zoop! Gone. Uh, what? Resist? Okay, now that's really funny. That's really funny. You're really gonna get a wake-up call now. Gone. Man. Ugly, ugly pig. Let's get back over here. Get this green. Bang. Sandy may defeat robots without pressing X. We knew that. Okay! That's better. I'm getting dizzy just watching. There you go. Hey, here he is. Oh, there's more, um... Uh, steering wheels here, so at least we can continue on that journey. That is number six now of eleven as we continue to finish that off. Nice little raft here. Thank you to whoever put this in. It's gone. Ah, come on, go. Oh, it's because they breathe out. Good, good, good. They put up some sort of uh, toxic gas that I can't uh, touch. Oh, it's gonna get ugly. Oh, hold on. Zoop! Bop! Gone. Skiddly bop bop boom. Bam! We want 2100 clams? We want 2100 clams for? To rebuild the bridge? What? I guess so. What are you gonna give me if I do that? I press this button. Just gives me a bridge. Okay, well, better give me like a spatula or something if I paid all that money. Where am I? Where is this guy taking me? Okay, there we go. Golden spatula. Let's get it, boys. Bang, spatula number 12, right there. Another one in the uh, downtown Bikini Bottom books. Now, oh, can I just go in this box and go right back to where I was? Oh, wow, that is that is great stuff right there. Thank you very much. Continue on downtown. Get all the boys. Bang, bing, bim. Karate, get out of here. Ah, I'm pressing, I'm pressing karate chalk. Get me out of here. I need to go to the air where I'm immortal. Jump. Jump. Perfect. Ah, get out of here. Whoa! And I'm dead, just like that. Wow, this uh, Dupla, Dupla Catatron was uh, working on overtime there. Pumping out the bots. Okay, let's try that again. This time we take the machine out. And then we fly away. And then immortal. Immortal. Perfect. You can't touch me. Can't get, can I get these guys from lassoing them? Yeah. Skiddly bip bop. I pressed some sort of button here. Bounce around town. Where's that gonna bring me? Kelpo. Very good uh, conglomeration, Kelpo. I'd uh, endorse them. So it looks like there's a uh, steering wheel down there. I think I'll go. Oh, I could get one here as well. Let me grab this one first. If you go, if you take a little ride here, you get a little green as well. You gotta watch your balance. And there we go, that's steering wheel number seven. I might as well go and get steering wheel number eight. Just gotta sweep, uh, swing down to that spot right there. And then there's also a sock here, but I don't think I can get it. Alright, so we're back up here now. We got that, um... Uh, da -da -da, that steering wheel, but now we can go and get that sock as well, if I go... Give me a sec, I won't do it just yet. Let me finish off what I'm doing here. For messing with Texas. Like a bit of to get the heart pumping. Keep on moving through the stage here.
Oh, there's a life stream streams you want to make it. And there we go. I, got the, I could have done a sh really shortcut, I guess. So I could have gone straight down there in the first place, but then I wouldn't have gone through everything else. So, and then you gotta jump and go up to here. Perfect. Look at these treadmills in the sky. Who put these here? Zoop! And then there's that spatula, boys. Number 13. Let's go as we continue the journey in downtown Bikini Bottom. We'll switch over to Spongebob so we can smack that button. I don't know how the bus got to such a high altitude, but won't complain. That brings me to this little bungee guy, and I go up here. Let's see if there's anything hiding around the bend. Go tiptoe. Yeah, and there is a sock. So make sure you go back there and get that. Perfect. So now you can travel to the lighthouse once you make it through all of that. I believe that's everything that you can get on the rooftops, considering uh, socks and... Uh... Oh, are you ready, kids? Here we go. Yes, I am. Ready, set, go. What do I have to do? Kill as many people as possible? I don't know what's happening. Ah! What's going on? Oh, boy. Okay. So, oh, it's different levels. Okay, makes sense. Let me just smack that guy right away, then. Oh, they continue- oh, interesting. Okay. I was not aware. I could just stay here for a while and keep getting, uh, ah! Keep getting a bunch of, um... Gosh, like a spring breeze. Uh, shiny objects. I keep, uh... I'm really confused what's going on here. What kind of lighthouse is this? Oh, come on! Alright, it's much easier now that I know what I'm doing. These guys, you gotta get them square on. If you land on their hands or something, you're not gonna be able to get them. Like you're, you can't kill two at once who are standing next to each other and try to get residual effects or something. You gotta smack them right in the right spot. This guy, get out of here. How many levels are there? How tall is this lighthouse? Well, that was, that was uh, a good move right there, because I just got a bunch of points. For, uh, come on, get out of here. I'm stuck. Let's go for that exploding guy. Oh, goodness. Okay, go upstairs. Get that guy. There's also underwear if you need. Smack you. Gotta get that golden spatula. Stomp on you. One, two, three. How do I kill this guy? Just one shot? Perfect. How do I get the electricity to stop? Oh, perfect. There's, uh, number Sometimes nine. pushing a simple button is the most satisfying. Push, 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 push. In terms of steering wheels, and golden spatula number 14. That button, what does that do? Just lets me bounce around? What, what is there to see up here? Would I bounce all the way back to the top? Is there something at the top? Let's find out. Oh, yes there is, I was saying. Another sock all the way to the top, so make sure you bounce all the way back to the top to get that sock. Now we can fly to the bottom. Bang. And let's get out of here. We got the sock, we got the steering wheel, we got the uh, spatula, and that'll end off part number one of Downtown Bikini Bottom. In the next one, we will go to the Sea Needle, and I think that might be the end of uh, Downtown. It'll just be a, hopefully two parts per location throughout this series. Unless Bubble Buddy has something to say over here, Fresh, we can just like continue. Alright, so perfect. In the next episode, we will continue at the Sea Needle as we go through my guide of how to 100% Spongebob Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. You're going along on the ride with me as I strive to 100% it myself and complete it to a Platinum Trophy. So thank you so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, putting out daily and often more often than just daily content of NHL, FIFA, and SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom rehydrated content. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one for part two of Downtown Bikini Bottom.